Watch this evening. New research suggests that autism may begin in the womb. Dr. Malika Marshall is here now with what we've learned about this. That's right. So we know that problems with the immune system are often seen in patients with autism spectrum disorder. In this study, an international team of researchers in Japan, they actually looked at mice that were programmed to develop autism. They found abnormalities in immune cells in both the brains and in the guts of the in the fetal stage in these rodents, suggesting the immune derangements associated with autism may begin in the wound and they're they're hoping that this is actually going to lead to some new treatments as well as a better idea as to what actually the multitude of factors that probably contribute to it. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, this is interesting too. Breakfast is often, I mean, how many times have you heard someone say it's the most important meal <laughs> of the day and yet about 15% of Americans skip it all together. So we, I know there's new research that says maybe that's not such a big deal. Yeah, I'm one of those 15%, I have to say. I've just really? never really liked oh, breakfast. I'm I not that breakfast. hungry in the morning. But anyway, <laughs> breakfast originally earned its title of the most important meal of the day back in 1960 when a nutritionist said, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper. Mm -hmm. And some older studies actually supported that, suggesting breakfast enthusiasts have a lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, and obesity, and better intakes of nutrients like calcium and iron and folate and vitamins. More recent studies paint a blurrier picture, however, with some suggesting whether people eat or skip breakfast, they end up eating the same number of calories on average without significant changes in weight. Other studies have found people who eat breakfast tend to exercise more, they tend to manage stress more effectively, avoid tobacco, and drink less, which means that lifestyle habits are probably more important than exactly when someone eats. So bottom line, whether you love it or leave it. it, make sure I don't like it. I like breakfast foods, though. But regardless, make sure that whenever you eat, that you make sure it's nutritious and well-balanced. We'll meet and have an omelet for dinner. Yes, right? Breakfast lovely. for dinner. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. David